What's up guys, this is uh, Tariq from uh, SmartBikeTrainers.com. In the indoor cycling market, there are two products from two different companies that have ruled the Smart Trainer market for quite a while now. And these are the Kicker from Wahoo Fitness and the Neo from Tax or Garmin. Uh, two trainers with completely different styles and look, yet both rule the market because of their reputation for power and accuracy. And if you are in the market for a trainer, you are probably considering one of these two. And that's why you're probably watching this video. And it is one of the most common questions I get. So in this video, I'll talk about the differences between each trainer and what I personally like about each one. And if you got one or got both, let me know down in the comment section what you like and don't like about each one and why you decided to go with what you have now. And if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. It helps the channel a lot that way and share it with your friends. Uh, and if you want to learn more about indoor cycling and how to best use your smart trainer, consider subscribing. And if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, uh, hit that bell icon. Okay, so the Kicker 2018 and Neo2 retail for the same price, $1,200. The Neo2T, which is an update to the 2, retails for $1,400, so $200 more. The Neo2 and 2T are practically the same, by the way. The main difference is tax address the wheel slippage issue the previous model, the Neo1 and 2 had, something I personally experienced only when climbing very steep climbs, like a 10 plus percent gradients. So for the sake of simplicity, from now on, when I say Neo, I'm referring to the Neo2 and 2T. And when I say kicker, I am referring to the kicker 2018 model. Okay, out of the box, the kicker includes an 11 speed cassette and ready to go where the Neo does not have a cassette. So it can be a little bit of a saving if you use the same cassette that comes with the kicker. The Neo does include a front wheel riser because it sits a little bit higher off the ground. So a front wheel riser is needed where it is not needed with a kicker because the kicker uh, height is adjustable to fit your wheel size. However, I always like to use a front wheel riser regardless of the trainer I use uh, because of uh, two things. Uh, I like the front handlebar to be fixed in place and not keep moving. Uh, also, you'll find angling or tilting that bike a few centimeters up a bit more comfortable for indoor riding. Bike compatibility, both trainers support a wide range of bikes and axle width. But then you can have issues with some narrower bikes, particularly TT bike or triathlon bikes with narrower chainstays clearance. My road and TT uh, tri or triathlon bike BMC time machine fits without any issues, but always make sure your bike fits. You can check with Tax or Wahoos uh, or just reach out to them directly to double check if you have any questions about your bike fitting. The Kicker is a solid trainer, made from steel, nothing is going to break this thing, where the Neo's frame is hard plastic. Not that I ever had an issue with it, breaking or anything, it's just one of those uh, differences. The Kicker legs uh, can be folded somewhat easily, where the Neo is a bit of a mystery for many. There is just no way to tell how to fold the legs. Uh, I like to tilt mine to the drive side, and then press the two levers under the, le under the other legs and fold the non-drive side leg then lay down on the ground and fold the other leg just like that. Then carrying the Neo is also a bit of a mystery. There is no handle anywhere or clear instructions on how to carry it. The kicker has a handle and is, a, is much easier to carry around and take to places with you like a race or just travel with. Uh, both are compatible with ANT Plus FEC and Bluetooth Smart. Both work with Zwift, Trainer Road, the Sufferfest, and almost every app out there. Both broadcast in Bluetooth, but the Kicker broadcasts Bluetooth through multiple channels. This was a recent update to the Kicker where Wahoo pushed this update uh, via firmware, and they added cadence measurement as well through that same firmware update. With multiple Bluetooth channels, this allows you to pair your kicker to multiple amps using Bluetooth. Personally, I like to use Trainer Road or the Sufferfest to control my trainer and Zwift at the same time. This allows me to easily do that using only Bluetooth, where the Neo does not have that option. You can still accomplish that with the Neo, but you have to use either Bluetooth and ANT Plus or use some kind of an ANT Plus bridge uh, to, 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 to do that. But the biggest benefit for having multiple Bluetooth channels is it will eliminate most Bluetooth connection issues that users might encounter. The Kicker has a physical 16 pound flywheel. The road feel on the Kicker is probably one of the best out there. The Neo has a virtual flywheel and controlled by 32 neodymium magnets. It's a next level flywheel. 
uh, there are advantages and disadvantages to both. Some people just do not like that feel of the virtual flywheel of the Neo and prefer the physical flywheel of the Kicker. I personally think both are great and I do not mind uh, either one of them. Maybe I lean more towards the Neo because it feels smoother. Uh, to me, uh, the virtual flywheel can also adjust to different circumstances like climbing and descents a lot better. It's also faster to respond in erg mode. I think the Neo is one of the best trainers and smoother than anything I have tried in erg mode. The Neo can also simulate downhills. Basically, the motor will operate the flywheel to simulate descents up to minus 5%. That flywheel can also simulate different road sensations like brick road, gravel, wooden board, which is pretty cool. I personally love the road field uh, simulation. It works when enabled in Zwift in sim mode and the trainer will just vibrate to simulate the different road sensation you're riding on. So if you ride on brick road, it will vibrate to simulate that brick road sensation and you feel it right in your pedals. It's like getting a good foot massage, a $1,200 foot massage. The Neo does not require power to operate. It is self-powered. That's a huge plus in my book. Basically, everything works except that downhill simulation but everything else work, uh, road feel, erg mode, sim mode, and just about everything. The Neo is able to support power up to 2500 watts with an accuracy of plus minus 1%, where the kicker can support power up to 2200 watts with an accuracy of plus minus 2%. The kicker can simulate climbs up to 20% and the Neo is up to 25%. The Neo does not need to be calibrated. That's another advantage to that virtual flywheel we talked about and the way they measure power. The kicker does require calibration, but to be honest with you, I probably calibrate the kicker once every month or so. It is pretty good at measuring power and just being consistent. The kicker can also pair to your own power meter and use that instead of its own power measurement. The Neo does not have that option. This is a good option if your power meter tend to be off from the kicker or just prefer to use your own power meter instead of the uh, kicker. The kicker is compatible with the kicker climb where the Neo does not work with the kicker climb. So that is something to consider. The Neo has a built-in cadence sensor where the kicker does not and instead it calculate cadence and broadcast that. So you will find the Neo to be much more accurate when it comes to cadence measurement. The Neo can also measure and broadcast left, right, power, and we should see more pedal analysis and cycling dynamics available hopefully sometimes in the near future. Currently, you can only view cycling dynamics using the Tax uh, desktop app on Windows. The Neo also has a little tiny flex to it where the kicker is fixed and rigid. I personally like that little flex. It feels a bit more natural, especially when you dig deep into harder intervals. Finally, the apps both have their own personal app, which you can use to control the trainer. Uh, the Wahoo Fitness app is really robust and very easy to use. Tax has the Tax desktop app and they also have a mobile app as well, which you can use to ride GPS routes, uh, create your own route, or do structured training or create your own uh, structured training. It does require a membership for features like riding GPS routes or access to their training library. Uh, as for noise, both are extremely quiet and I am not going to demo the noise in this video. I have done that comparison so many times in the past, so I will link to that description uh, below to check if you wanna check those out, but you will be impressed with how quiet these trainers are. So to summarize, the Neo is a pretty advanced trainer with a virtual flywheel, a road field simulation, very accurate power measurement. It does not require calibration. You have lift right power data, which you can view on a Garmin device, for example, and more pedal analysis should be coming down the road and it is self powered. So it does not require to be plugged in. Uh, the Kicker is a solid trainer with a solid flywheel and good road feel. It's probably compatible with more bikes than any other trainer out there. It's also compatible with the climb. If you are thinking of getting that, uh, good accuracy and has a multi Bluetooth channel support and comes with an 11 speed cassette already included. Uh, price wise, the Kicker and Neo 2 are priced the same. If looking at the updated Neo 2T, then that's an additional $200. One other thing to consider is shipping and support. So make sure where you live, 
uh, ship, shipping it back if you have to ever ship it back that is something that you can do easily here in the US both companies have pretty good support you can easily ship it back to either company if you need to return it or replace it and like I said earlier both trainers are very good very accurate and will last you many years of proper use and I think you will be very happy with either one of them okay if I helped you make your mind and want to purchase one of these trainers, make sure to check out the bike trainer price tracker on smartbiketrainers.com. Uh, prices are updated all year long. Some good deals out there today and this whole week. So make sure to check those out and I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, hope you find this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.